Simon's and uh, Victoria are going to start a YouTube channel, I think. Because uh, Victoria wants a new Merlot 27.6. That's the dad, Simon. Point chip all over the yard. <laughs> All the sugar beets gone now. Andrew's just sweeping the floor with the uh, JCB. It's actually brilliant at that because you know, it like bends in the middle. Because he's brushed the floor, you can see where I'm driving. So I'm going to do a loop, and he's doing a loop, and then we're seeing which is going to be the smallest circle. I think it's the JCB. So the inner bit of this loop is, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's see what the inner bit of this one is. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now I don't know what he's done there. It must be that one. That can't be right. Max, just try it again. Just try and drive around that. I would have thought the JCB had the better loop. Right, I'll measure this now. There we go. Got one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine foot. Two foot short to turn in circle. Sam's washing the Merlot off because now all the sugar beet's gone. We're not going to end up getting it as dusty as we were. We've got the blue steps there to do the top. Just, just been fitting the fire blanket and the fire extinguisher into one of the motorhomes. It's going out this weekend. Quick scan round it. It's obviously a bit messy at the moment because we're putting stuff in. It's the other bed up there. Nick's got a new JCB telly on that, obviously. This is what this bucket's off. And he's got this grab, which is on Euro 8, which has to fix Andrew's little JCB. But he wants it converting, so I'm going to cut the brackets off now. I've just started with the whizzer there. I would normally do it with the plasma, but because there's rams and pipes behind, I don't want to melt it. So we're just going to cut him off with the whizzer and then put new brackets on it for him. And then we've got a bale spike to do as well for him. Cut that one off. Nearly cut this one off. Just wants a quick tap. And that should come off. That's satisfying. Did it with that. One dish did explode. It came out of it. Luckily it stayed on the machine, didn't fly off and hit anyone. But yeah, the sensor's come out of that. But it's probably because I was twisting it too much, trying to get in, in the corners with it on an angle. I forgot to insure this little baby telly on me yesterday. Loads of people said, oh, is it on demo or have you bought it? Well, yeah, I have bought it, but I haven't really because I've got to pay for it for the next 60 months. But I felt that it was it was good value for money and we needed it. So we've uh, splashed out. I just rumbled to insure it, like I said, and when I was on the phone to them, I just said, yeah, it's a Merlot, and she knew straight away it was a telly and then told me that she'd been watching my videos, so I think that's what, so now our local insurance agent knows better, knows more what's going on on farms, because they've been watching my videos, so everyone's learning, which is good. One of the last things we had on demo, the insurance agent actually rang me up and went, have you not told us about something that needs insuring? And again, we'd forgotten to insure it, and he'd seen it on the video at night, so he'd rung me the next morning and had it on cover, which was good. Anyway, we're going to shoot up the road now, it's insured, and I'm going to go and check out Project Merlot. Project Merlot update. It's all painted, that's all fixed. The scars are gone. Doing the hubs now. Looks a lot fresher. Obviously we didn't do anything in the cab. <laughs> That's straight, that's painted. Boom's all shiny. It's a load, a lot better. Look at that! No problem. Even with the boom out. The size of it compared to that one. I better put the drone footage on now of what we did in the field the other day. So we've basically been doing a campaign with uh, Farmer's Guardian called Farming Can. So Farming Can deliver environmental benefits for everyone. Farming can grow your food. 
farming can. I mean, lots of things. So in fact, leave a comment if you know what farming can do, because the more comments we can think of, the more things that we think farming can, the better. And we can use them over the coming year and different things. So they used to do a lot of um, 24 hours in farming. Well, now they want to take it further and, and have a hashtag that they can use all the time. So we did a massive one in the field where our drag strip was actually. But luckily we still could do some drag races over it and just to the side of it. That's what we've been doing. I've just spent an hour now as well with Nosley Council's events team because they were really excited about the Sunflower Maze last year because it put Nosley on the map and the tracks are under it as well. Nosley's our local borough and they want to do more things with me and more things next year as well. Anyway, there's the drone pictures of Farming Camp. Nick's JCB's here. Adam's now finishing off these brackets on the top. Nice well there. They're cut off. They're getting a set of brackets on in a minute. And then we've got a set of Merlot brackets for Project Merlot to go on that bucket there. And then we've got three different brackets changed this afternoon. Nick's playing on his Hyundai with his road crop tracks. They're like a lot narrower than the cap. What we see from this angle. Definitely narrow. Waste spec. We've now got three working Merlots. James is looking for a spare one, but Christine's on one, my dad's on one, and Andrew's on another one. And I want a Merlot to move a bucket round as well. So we naturally need five today. I don't know how he even managed with, with one, especially two. Is that a little Merlot or a big chipper? A bit of both, I suppose. Sam's on the 724, he's spreading some fertiliser on the spring barley before it rains next week, hopefully. James is just filling him up with a mini Merlot and then we're going to put four bags in that bucket because we're going to take him two tonne to the field to save him coming back, back again. He's been going backwards and forwards and tomorrow I'm doing some filming for a company that we buy granulated lime off and they're bringing a drone so we're going to film the spreader tomorrow working with that. I'm on the mini Merlot now, I've got three bags on. You can see, but uh, Sam picked up four bags before and it was no problem with it. I had to run some bags of fertilizers to the field, so I was going to put them in the big bucket, but I decided I may as well put them in loose because they'll probably go in easier, I hope. So, do you think four bags of fertilizer will fit in that bucket? It's 2.4 tonne of fertilizer and it holds about 2.2 tonne of a nice load of wheat, so we'll try and put it in anyway. First two have fitted in easy, so. The bucket gets wider at the top, so it should be all right. JCB now, brackets on that. I've got a time lapse of them putting the cab on the 3650 Adams Project tractor, so I'll put that on now because they were messing around with it last night. Because because I was editing the video for last night, I never filmed this, but they've just lifted the cab back on the 3650 John Deere. Have you? Oh, Adam's got a time lapse. Watch Sam's car! Walkies. Come on, Fido. What are you going to do now with that brake jam's on and it's your car, Sam? <laughs> be happy. This bucket was cheap because it was bent.
bit better like it's the other end now big job now got the merlot and the digger on it the bottom's not too bad it's just doing the top now So four bags fits in no problem at all. I was going to run it to the field. I've not a chance to leave. So it's quicker for Sam to get back at 55k than me get there at 40k. So he's on his way back now. It won't take long to fill him up because I'll just tip it straight out of the bucket. So he'll be in and out of the yard in 30 seconds. Lads are just bagging some topsoil up now with two Merlots. This was yesterday's quiz question on the dump trailer. The swivel hitch is so basically when you're going on uneven ground, it stops the hitch wearing a bit, but also if you roll the trailer over, it will um, not take the tractor with it because big trailers tipped up when they roll over can pull the tractors over, which can be more dangerous than just the trailer rolling over. And the other advantage is you can unbolt that, slide out, put a new one in without having to cut into the trailer and re-weld an eye in because other eyes do wear, do wear out eventually. A little bit annoying though, if you're trying to couple up and you're not quite square and the hook catches the side here, it twists it up to the side to get out put it square then start again but yeah that's a swivel hitch basically while i'm here looking at this hitch this is today's quiz question does anyone know what that little bottle's for there on the back of the fast track see it just down there and there's a little one there as well the other side just about fits but it was splashing a bit so sam's just holding the shovel on the edge Curtain of fertilizer. This just looks like polystyrene beads, doesn't it? We're putting this on the spring barley so when it rains next week it'll get washed in. There we go. That's about it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And if you want to subscribe, I think you can click here. And if you want to see another video, I think you can click here if that works. I'm just getting new to all this anyway. So I'll see you tomorrow.